And actually, this is like a Did I just stole my car? So this rug kind of all works really, really well. I think I've just basically found three scents that I absolutely love. Vanilla, pumpkin, and coffee. And she came across this idea on Pinterest. Hello everybody, how you doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my... Boring you, am I? Sorry, Delightful, love that. Um, I hope you're doing really well. Today is a, another IKEA day. <laughs> I feel like it's becoming our second home. We actually haven't been to IKEA in maybe a month-ish. I'm gonna wind down the window, it's a tad warm. Oh. Um, what? Yes, so we're in Ikea today. We came to a different Ikea. We are based um, in southwest London, but we came to one in Greenwich because obviously I used to live here. We've never actually been this Ikea, so we thought we'd spruce it up a little bit. Um, so we just drove here. I'm going to be having a day around Ikea. We're also going to go to B&Q because I need to get some DIY bits. Um, we're going to go to Home Sense as well. We're going to be including that in here. Lovely siren interlude. We are still in London. And then we're going to have a day in Greenwich. Just enjoy the rest of the day. Maybe go get a little bite to eat, some food, that kind of vibe. But um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the video. It's a very, very warm day. Apparently this is the last warm day of September. Did you know that? Really? I'm here with Zara, obviously. We don't have long left of September. No, that is very true. Today's so September very... 21st, I think it is. Basically, as of today, today's actually yeah. quite warm. Today is 22 degrees, and then for the rest of the week, it's just rain, rain, rain. So we thought, why not make a day of it? Come to Ikea and spend the day inside. 21 <laughs> degrees. Your car feels at minus 21. I'm currently on fire. Yeah, this is a constant thermostat war. Anyway, um, let's go on Ikea. Let's get some snacks first. Go to the toilet. Yeah. Toilet food. Um, you, where's our list? Somewhere. Oh, it's in my wallet. I have a list. We have a list, people. We're being very, very efficient. Right, you ready? Delightful. Right, let's go. I feel like we're in very unfamiliar territory actually coming to an Ikea that we don't usually come to. Um, got the yellow bag and tour. Look, we really do keep any fashion Sorry. Bag, Sorry. Yeah, we do have a list. Let me grab my list. But we're still gonna have a little mooch anyway. We always look at the kitchens. Nothing we can ever do about it, but yeah. Very nice. Yeah, that wallpaper is nice. Very geometric. I am a fan of a dark living room. I always have been. We are on the hunt for a coffee table. It's the last thing we do need in our um, living room, but essentially... Like yeah. Ideally needing something that's not too big, not too small, and it's just gonna sit, like, in the middle of our two sofas. So I'll show you what we're looking at so far. Five. This is a vibe, but Zara doesn't like it because this is too big. No, Zara doesn't think that we need it. This is really nice as well, but again, I think it's just a bit... Mm. I'm very glad that we actually went for green in the end, and that wall looks really, really nice. I've just seen this rug, kind of all works really, really well. Very nice indeed. And the foot stools are nice as well. It's too late now. Oh. Oh. No, you have to go to your zone. That's very cozy. Yeah. Why didn't I have this in our lives? I also really like that. That, yeah, that's nice. It's all so nice. I think if I had like a separate dining room, I'd very much go dark like this with a lighting above it. It's lovely. So I was just saying, IKEA really starting to push this whole like business idea. So this is their floristry installation. I actually really like these. I think they'd look quite real. That could look nice dangling down. We're doing the obligatory IKEA meatball stop because we can't cover IKEA and not. <laughs> it's the most unhealthy stop, but hey ho. It's delicious. Are you a mash or a chip person? I'm usually a mash person, but I'm a Persian. I'm usually a mash, mash, mash person. person. <laughs> We've just went and basically got our food to get and came to the roof terrace. Apparently, it's IKEA has a roof terrace. And there's a cheeky little DJ on. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> when you fill your house with rugs, you now have to start on the outside. <laughs> I like this one, it's nice with the blue. This is gonna be for our outside terrace oh, area. No. No. Right, it's yeah, I'm sure they're gonna love you doing dish. this for sure. So I'm just in the technology section of IKEA and I saw these old chargeable things that you can just drop your phone on and it charges them. Excuse me. There. Oh no. There. Do you think this is the best IKEA we've been to? It's so, so nice. We are all done in IKEA and now we're heading into Home Sense. Oh my god, is that Christmas things I see? Good lord. We're already attacking the pumpkin spice candles again. I did come last time with you and buy three. I think I've just basically found three scents that I absolutely love. Vanilla, pumpkin and coffee. The DW Home one, it smells so good. It's quite large though, I don't think we need a big one. I think we might have actually just found, well, Sarah's just found our rug. It's like a very nice like Aztec print, but then it's got little hints of orange. And then the yellow tassels as well, which just add a bit of detail. It's 30 pounds. I think this is the one. Do you? Me too. Brilliant. 
Yeah, we finished up at Ikea and then we've just went to Home Sense and got a couple of bits and bobs as well. I actually might do a little mini haul when we get back just to show you everything we've bought. We haven't actually bought like a lot, we've just bought little bits of things that we kind of needed. And now we're going to head into Greenwich Town and get ourselves a little coffee because we've hit like a brick wall of a little bit tired. We had a lot of tequila last night, so I'm a little bit, I'm not going to say hungover, but I'm borderline probably do need a coffee that's perked me up. So um, yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna go to into Greenwich Town, which we always seem to do, have a lovely little afternoon there. And then I think this evening, we're gonna go out for an Italian um, at ZZ's on South Bank, which is literally just down along the Thames, about 20 minutes from our house, which is very nice. So yeah, that's the plan. Actually, this is like a per Did I just stole my car? No, I didn't. Yeah, I did. <laughs> So this, so this is the perfect spot to vlog. Like literally, I don't need one of those. Um, I mean, speed bumps variable. Um, I don't need one of those car mounts. Maybe I do. If you want more car vlogs, do let me know, and I will order one. We're back from IKEA. Hello, hi. Um, it's actually very warm today. It's probably. One of the warmest days in September we've had so far. I'm kind of clammy. Um, I thought I'd quickly jump on and do a little bit of a haul before tomorrow's antics because tomorrow we're going to be doing. Well, I'm going to be doing some DIY improvements to the house. I'm going to be up, um, uploading, uploading my shelf to my wall. I'm going to be putting um, a shelf on my wall. I'm going to be doing Zara's shelves in my bedroom as well. And then um, also putting some prints on the wall as well, which I'm going to be showing you tomorrow. Um, yes, yeah, so we went to HomeSense and Ikea and got not a lot, I wouldn't say. Just like a few little bits that we kind of needed and then some extra bits that we just got on top. And so yeah, I'm just going to show you everything we got. Uh, so let's just start with the Ikea. So the first thing, pretty boring, but basic. We got a black picture frame. Picture frames in Ikea are really, really affordable. This was £4 or £5? £5. This is £5. Um, it's a 30 by 40 centimetre frame. Let me grab the print. So the print that we're going to put in it is this one here. And this was very kindly sent to me by a company called Everlong Prints. Um, if you have watched maybe my videos for a while, you remember that a couple of months ago, I did a um, like a room, living room tour. I'll link that down below. And one of the prints that we featured was a cocktail print um, from FY. So that's what the new prints are going to be from. But this is um, also stocked on FY, but it's by obviously a brand called Everlong. So that is the one that's gone in there. So it's going to look really, really nice. I'm going to put that in our kitchen. The thing I got in Ikea is this. Um, this was a, uh, well, it's something I didn't really need, but I saw it and I was like, that's cool. I have one of the iPhone X S Maxes, I think that's what it's called. Any iPhone that's like an X or above um, has the wireless charging function. And basically this was installed in a piece of furniture, but you can just have it as it is. Let me just make sure, make sure you can see it. So yeah, you can basically have it just on your desk or even also install it like a bedside table. Um, and essentially just drop your phone on it and it charges it. Um, so I think that was, 15 pounds it might have been so yeah i got that also we got a rug from the rug section um yeah this is for our outside terrace area it's not massive but i think it's really nice and it's got these lovely little woven details on each corner like tassels and i think this was like five or six pounds or something so like really affordable we got some of these um pillar candles i think they're called um you get five and a half hours per burn and they're in uh, like a mint color mint green color so obviously the ones that we have on our fireplace against the green will either look really nice or really terrible because they didn't have the white ones for some reason but they had them in like a chunkier one so yeah they were like two pounds fifty or something so really affordable again another boring purchase but something very necessary some shelf brackets these were a kind of like a last minute find by zara and um, they were two pounds fifty each they're wood and they are essentially going to be fixed obviously to the wall and have the, the scaffold board as I showed you before in our living room. I'm also putting that in my bedroom. So yeah, got two of those. And then the last couple of things we got from Ikea are plant related. Um, as you know, I love my plants. Um, these aren't real, but they do kind of look real. I think from a distance, if you pop them on a shelf, they look wicked. Um, so we got two. So this one, obviously they don't come with the pots. The pots are separate. So I think they were like really affordable, like a pound or something. Um, but yeah, basically this is for our shelf in the living room. I'll show you that in a second. It's going to have a hanging off of the edge just to add a bit of greenery. We did have a real ivy, but for some reason the ivy never likes to be inside. Um, not the British ivy anyway. So yeah, that was pot number one. And then pot number two, this is for Zara's bedroom. Obviously I said I'm gonna be putting the shelves up tomorrow for her. She's doing like some shelves above her bed. So this is like a terracotta-esque plant pot. And then again with the same plant in it. So they're really nice. And those plants are really affordable as well. I think they're like four pounds or something. Um, and then the last few things we got are from Home. What else did we get from Home Sense? Just three things? Yeah. Really? Yeah. We, um, we were very reserved in Home Sense. 
kind of felt like we went in. We looked for a coffee table, but we couldn't really find one. And um, so we'll still continue the search for that. So the first thing we've got is this rug. Um, it was the one that I showed you in store, spotted by Zara again. You've got some good finds today. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a bit different. We kind of didn't really have this in mind. It's quite similar to, I don't know if you can see it. It's quite similar to the rug we've got in the background, which is like an Aztec print. Um, but it's got this lovely like or rustic orange um, um, tassel detail and it's got some orange running through it as well and some blue and it's massive and that was $29.99 it's literally ginormous it's very affordable for this and the last uh, the last couple of things we got in home sense um, this candle was on the little section as we were just about to check out from the till and it's a M of WG pumpkin and pumpkin candles can be a little bit overwhelming but this one smells amazing. And the clove kind of gives it a bit of a hint to Christmas as well, because cloves is what you use in bacon. So that was 2 dollars very, very cheap. And kind of very nice autumnal colors, so we're gonna put that in our hallway. And then the last boring thing we bought is some wine glasses, because um, Zara had a bit of a disaster last time with our wine glasses. Um, we needed three wine glasses, but the wine glasses that we had from Ikea weren't actually in store anymore. I think they replaced them with like a new design that you couldn't buy one of, you needed to buy nine, no, six. No. Six for nine pounds. So we ended up spending more money and got these for ten. But I think they're nice. They're basically the ones in IKEA weren't great, and these are really really nice. Like a proper, well, just a standard white wine glass. Um, we got white wine ones because we drink more white than we do any other colour. Yeah, they were two nine ninety nine by a brand called Behema. Um, I've never really heard of them, but they feel decent enough. So yeah, that was it. That's actually everything we bought, and I'm gonna catch you guys. Actually, I'll show you where we're going to put the plants, um, and I'll show you what the rug looks like when it's down, and then I'll catch you guys tomorrow when we do an operation DIY to the house. I also might do some bacon tomorrow, but um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a second. Uh, yeah, looks alright. That'll do. Quite yeah, me too. Well, I've just put the print in the frame, and I think it looks really, really good. There's a lot of varieties of coffee on there. Um, I was saying to Zara earlier, I think I really want a coffee machine for Christmas, so I'm um, definitely be making some of these. But yeah, I'll be linking this down below. I was very kindly gifted, um, but I will link this along with the prints that we're going to open tomorrow, which are over there. And this is the rug. I think it looks really, really nice. We've just put it like we were going to put it like fully under the sofa, but I think it looks very, very nice as it is. And the pop of colour is actually very, very cool. We've got some colours going on with the prints that I'm going to show you tomorrow. So really, really like this. Um, perfect. We'll grab this candle. This is the um, pumpkin one, and pop this here. You already have a candle out here, but I think we're going to swap them over. This is the one that I made in an Earl of East class. So we're going to take that out and pop that one there, which looks. Very autumnal. Let's actually move that one over. Nice. And I actually put the plant stand that I accidentally bought on eBay there. I just need to put something in it. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. So today is Sunday. Um, as I said, I was going to vlog yesterday. We went out for dinner. It was very nice, actually. We went to ZZ's, our classic ZZ's. Um, and it was really, really nice. We had a lovely lunch. It's a bit later on now, actually. It's quite late in Sunday afternoon. What time are we on? It's three o'clock in the afternoon. We've kind of had a very slow morning. We went to Audi and just did our weekly grocery shop. Zara is spending some time with her auntie and uncle. Um, today, she's gone out for lunch with those guys. I've just been out to try and take a photo. It didn't go particularly well, although I did do it. Um, we ended up using the underground for a photo, which was kind of necessary. Um, and now it's a DIY afternoon for me. Um, I obviously got a little bit to do. Basically, let me show you. These are the prints that have been sent over from FY, so I'm just gonna quickly unbox these now and you can see what we've got going on. Let's open these prints up. Um, yeah, like I said, I've worked with FY before, and um, I think it's FY or FY, I'm not really sure how you say it. Um, they're a really cool print company. They actually are the guys who provided us with the Brooklyn Bridge print that we've got in our hallway. I'll show you that again if you missed it in a previous vlog. But they've sent over two very lovely prints and that I was very kindly able to choose. And they're framed as well, which is the dream. Um, they've very kindly given me a discount code as well, which I'll pop on the screen now. If you want to use it, you can get yourself a little bit of a discount if you're looking for any prints. We've gone for something a little bit more, I'd say a little bit different with the choices because um, all of the ones that we've kind of got in the living room are either like monochromatic or kind of a little bit modern. So I thought because this apartment's kind of a bit 1930s art deco vibes, we've got for something a little bit different. Um, so yeah, I chose two prints. Zara's very kindly trusted me. Um, and I really like them. I think they look wicked. So I'm going to show you them now. So sorry that there's a little bit of reflection going on, but this is the first print that we've gone for, which is like some print splodges, which I think looks really, really cool. Obviously it kind of ties in with the color of the rug. 
on subconsciously, like the yellows and the oranges and the blues. And then this is the second one we've gone for. Um, again, really nice, like a greenhouse print, which I just think looks absolutely awesome. So those two, I think, work really, really well. And the plan is to frame those both here. And I think we might need a third one. So I'm gonna try and have a look around and see if there's something. Do you know what I actually think would look really cool? Let me go grab it. Well, actually, I'm on the way to the kitchen. This is the print I was talking about. This is also FY. Really, really cool company. Um, let's just come through. So this is the coffee print that I showed you guys yesterday. It looks really nice up here. I think this could look really nice. I kind of think she's a bit groovy, a little bit extra, a bit colorful. Let's see. I think that looks wicked. One, two, three, just three prints up on the wall there. Very, very nice. Okay, so we're gonna be using command strips for this. Now, I've heard these are very, very useful for prints. This one is a tad heavy, um, so I think we might need a couple more for this one. Maybe we'll use the eight, maybe we'll use the eight medium sets and four on these, and it should be good, but um, yeah. I think this is the formation we're gonna go for. So essentially this is gonna go up there. So this is the overall look we've got, guys. It does look a little bit minimal. I feel like maybe we might need like one more here and maybe a couple more here, but for now, I'm really, really liking that selection. Um, I actually think it'd be quite nice to get a picture that means are have taken or something just to add to the um, look, but I really, really like this. I think they look awesome. So I've just um, rang Billy, who was in a couple of vlogs back, um, who helped me put up my shelf, and I was like, hello, I've got my pencil behind my ear. Am I ready for the job? I just had a quick little refresh of how to assemble, essentially, a shelf to a wall. It's pretty straightforward. This. Oh, this is the shelf. It's another one of the scaffolding boards that he brought up when they visited. It's going to go above my desk area here. So that print is going to be on the wall. Um, and it's just going to clear the desk area. It's meaning I can be so much more productive. Because this desk is great, but it kind of just gets... Oh, it gets super crammed. So I'm going to move like my file up there. The plant. Maybe I'll keep the plant there, actually. But that... Sorry, there's a really annoying seagull outside. Hi. Hello, seagull. Hello. So basically, that's the plan. Um, so... This is the kit. I mean, this is a bit excessive considering all I'm just attaching something to a wall. But um, I've got my spirit level here, some kind of makeshift spirit level. Um, and I've chosen my drill bit and my wall plug, and this is the screw. And um, it's a good job I actually did just FaceTime Billy because basically I had the bracket the wrong way around. And I was going to fix it to the wall that way, which is wrong, which is actually that way. So I just need to remember barcodes to the back of the wall. So um, yeah, let's hope this goes according to plan. Okay, so I've successfully marked out where the shelf needs to go, and then I've just drilled two holes into the wall, and then put the wall plugs in. I think this is right. Um, I do often get a lot of questions from people asking if and why and how I'm allowed to do this in a rented property, and what we say is, if we return the property in the sit that was actually in, obviously with these walls, they are old walls, but you can just fill them and paint over them, and it literally looks just good as new, and obviously with houses, you know, they do try and obviously keep them as nice as they possibly can be, but if we return it in the best way we possibly can, we never lose the deposit, touch wood. Okay, so that's one shelf bracket attached to the wall. I don't know if that's the right way of doing it, but, um, yeah, I think. So I'm going to grab this. It's quite difficult to do this one-handed. Oh, and then rest it on top. And then essentially mark out on this side once it's level where the other bracket goes. And I think we're there. Okay, so we have somewhat of a shelf on the wall. I, oh, I'm so excited. All I really need to do now is to drill two screws in each of the brackets upwards into the wood, and it's there. I was kind of trying to get it equal on both sides. It does look a bit wonky because the desk's pulled out once it's pushed back. It should, in theory, be perfect. So, shelf in my room is done. I'm going to show you that in a second. Zara just came back from her lunch with her auntie and uncle, and we're doing some DIY in her room. Basically, mum and dad sourced these pieces of. Oh, I forgot what this is called. It's not plywood. Unga, pallet wood. It's pallet wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Zara's just sanded it down to get rid of all like the rough edges. And she's going to go for like a rustic vibe where we're going to attach a piece of string here. And then it's going to hang. And then we're going to attach another piece of string here. And then they're going to go on that wall above a bed. Should be easy. I'm just in a cheeky little bit of DIY in Zara's room as well. Um, she came across its idea on Pinterest, and I actually bet if you were to source these, they'd be kind of expensive. Let me give you a hand. No, it's okay. Sure. I think all you need now is a headboard, truly. But I think I'm going to end this vlog here because we're not really doing anything else. We've just done a bit of deep cleaning, and now we're literally, well, I'm about to have some well earned cheese and crackers. Oh, cheese and cheese twists. But um, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. There'll be more home stuff coming momentarily. I can always tell there's always something we're doing in the house. But um, yeah, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in a future video.
Bye for now. Don't say bye. Bye. Goodbye.